The Long Point Bird Observatory has been in operation for 51 years and has banded over 830,000 birds. This is an explanation of the bird banding process. Every 20 minutes, volunteers extract birds from the mist nets. The netting is made of a fine material that, when put in front of a backdrop, is invisible to the birds. The birds fly into panels in the netting and get tangled. Upon extraction from the nets, the birds are placed in cloth bags so they remain calm throughout the process. After being brought back to the station, the birds are identified. This species is a yellow warbler, which is one of the most common warbler species banded at LPBO. The bands come in a variety of sizes, and each has a different number which will help identify the birds. Yellow warblers take a band size zero, one of the smallest sizes available. Next, the bander uses specialized pliers to open the band. It is put inside the pliers and then carefully placed on the leg. The bander then does a number of measurements, the first being a fat score. Bird skin is unique because you can see the amount of fat under their transparent skin. They blow on the feathers to determine the fat content, which helps determine their migration stage. The bander will also take a wing cord measurement with a special ruler. The last step is to determine the bird's age and sex by looking at the molten plumage. In some species, such as the blue jay, it is difficult to determine the sex using plumage alone, as the males will look identical to the females. If this is the case, the bander will use other useful criteria, such as wing cord, or to check to see if the bird is in a state of breeding. LPBO warden Jesse Pakala explains the rest. Now after we're done doing all our measurements, aging and sexing the bird, we weigh them in specialized cups that keep the bird's wings in a natural position and they keep them calm and quiet during the process. And this bird weighs 7.4 grams. After we're done, we drop them out of chute and the bird flies away to continue its migration.